Darlings, this is the fabulous Dan Souza. And we are going to cook together. We are. We're speak standing very close together. We're going to do the whole dinner. segment this close. <laughs> and we're going to make these beautiful things called chou au craquelin, right? Yes. Isn't that what you... You, you, you wanted fancy French Yes, I do. I, see, here's the thing. That... No. Can I tell you what it is? Yeah. There are too many like 12-minute meals and whatever. And I like those. I like a sheet pan. Mm -hmm. I do. But what happened to this? What happened to all this? This is like one step is going to take way over 12 minutes. I so like we're going to be, we're in this for the long haul. I'm in it for the long haul, darlings. Yep. You have to do this kind of thing. Force yourself to do it because yep. it's delicious and it's important to the history of Absolutely. everything. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it. first of all, you're so thin. You know, how do you say so thin when you cook all the time? That's well, so my main first question. That's your main first question? Yes. So when I first started at America's Test Kitchen, you know, they talk about college, like the, like the freshman 15, like that right. happens like when you start as a test cook too. So I learned over time that like all that awesome stuff, you just taste little bits of it as opposed to like, I, see. I need a whole, you know, roast well, chicken. Well, darling, what need... sign are you? What's your birth sign? Um, I'm Aquarius. Are you? That's amazing. I guess that's an Aquarius thing because when I'm around food, I just want to eat more. It takes a lot to like go away from that. I love that you're just doing all the work for me. That's okay. I need to like, I need to figure out how to separate eggs because first of all, darling, can we talk about how to crack an egg? Because yes, yes. let's start from the very beginning. I love beginning. talking about that. And you're going to say crack it on a flat surface, which I'm, never works. I'm actually not going to say that. Really? Yeah. I have a new favorite way. Okay. okay. So, so my favorite way to crack eggs is, is crack an egg on another egg. So, and I'll tell you why, because you, you do the flat surface. Yeah. We all know what happens. You, yes. get, you get a big crack, but it doesn't necessarily break the membrane underneath. So, and it leaves egg white See? wherever you, wherever you did it. The other way is on the edge of the bowl, which you're doing, which can't, it definitely breaks the membrane, but then you but get it creates little, little shell fragments yes. and you already got one in right, there. So right. check this out. Only one of them will crack. Is that right? And see this one, it cracks and gives you a divot, uh, which is perfect, it. perfect for your little thumbs. How many do we have in there? I uh, one, this two, is three, like four, right? Four. Right, four. Do you want to try, do you want to try oh, this? Oh yeah, the I egg do. Egg method? What if I fuck off? Boy, you can't, okay. you can't. So it's really? just tapping okay. gently on the sides. And you could do it a couple of times, beautiful. So that's your cracked egg. This wow. one lives to fight another day. Right. I've had ones that go through the entire dozen. Oh my God. And Dan, don't crack. I think I love you. I think I actually, like, I have unconditional mother's love for you, darling. <laughs> Here's the other thing about you. You're so young. How, how, how old are you? I'm not that young. I'm, I'm 41. Because you don't have any gray in your hair. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I don't have as much as you yet, but I'm there. No. You don't see it? No, no, no. There's a little. Maybe if I run my fingers through your head. No, I won't do that. Not in the cooking segment. We have yes. six in here now? Six in there. I think so. That's no, I think we... One... Are we short one? I think we're short one, yeah. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Oh, you're going back to your bowl. I'm also going back to the bowl. I'm sorry. See, that's just a hard... A hard... It's hard to break old it's habits It's hard to like break that. old habits. It's hard to break eggshells. I know there's a better way to separate eggs, too. Well, just kind I of show hold you, them over I your fingers show you, and, oh, please. I want to show you one other. Really? Yeah, that I think is really fun. Okay, so we're going to do our crack like this, is right? Is this to this separate is the one. eggs? Yeah, so look, I'm just going to crack it into the bowl. Right. And then I just reach in with my hand and pick it up. Oh, I don't know, darling. I don't want to do that. It's a <laughs> lot of, that's very tactile. Let's call it tactile. It's too tactile. I'm going to add some milk to this saucepan. Go on. Okay, so. Simple. So this, this this recipe has three main components to it. We're gonna make a pastry cream. We're gonna make the crackalon, which is the simplest cookie in the world to make. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna make uh, shoe puffs. Okay. And then it's all gonna come together and they're amazing. They're, you know, cream on the inside, like lightened pastry cream on the inside. Darling. Really delicate, beautiful Darling. puff. And then a crackly cookie topping. I love you. I think I love you. I mean, well, let's wait until they're done and see if, they, if you actually. All right. So this gets this gets warm. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring warm. it up to a simmer. We are tempering the mixture. Over here, we have the rest of our pastry cream ingredients. So we've got flour. Regular old flour. Regular all-purpose okay. flour. We've got granulated sugar. All right. Um, a little bit of salt, because okay. we need salt in all sweet things. Um, and then another, this is another half cup of milk. Okay. So we're gonna whisk this together first. Mm -hmm. Make it nice and combined here. And then we're gonna, once that flour is, is mixed in, we can add our egg yolks. Okay. What do we, this is the, this is the, sh the shoe flour? No. This is the pastry cream. Oh, this is the pastry cream. So we got to okay. make it, it's got to cool down got and it. thicken up. Got it. And okay. then at the very right. end, we're going to lighten it with uh, some whipped, regular whipped cream. With some regular whipped cream. Now, might we need a stand mixer for that? What are we trying to do by hand? Oh, okay. We, maybe we take turns. Right. We'll do it by hand. Okay. <laughs> I like this idea. All right. So we're going to get our six uh, yolks that we beautifully separated <laughs> into there. Okay. So that's like pancake batter so far. Ish. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is, yeah, but exactly. and a little, little less fluid little in there many probably. Eggs, yeah, exactly, right. 
Okay, great. So that's all nicely mixed. So we're gonna wait until our mixture comes up to a, a nice simmer over here. All right. And then we'll start tempering it in. Here, Might you need a ladle? Yes, I would love a ladle. What I size? wonder where I could find one. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some tempering here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So at this point, you wanna go slow with yep. this hand and fast with this hand. Mm -hmm. That's the way I like to think about it. Okay. You know all this stuff. I don't know why I'm like that. No, that's okay. I love you watching you. You have to pretend to be like darling. the host that doesn't I love know how to make every this. fancy French pastry. So yeah, this is, and this is key here. We're bringing it up slowly in temperature. Wow, that's beautiful. Congratulations. Do you need a strainer by some <laughs> chance? Will that be strained or no? No. Okay. Unless I really mess up. See, he doesn't even need to strain it. I would strain it, but. But so when you go back, the trick is people go really slow and that's not what you want to do. No. Because this could curdle in this hot liquid. Right? And so it's instead still? you want to flood it really quickly and even the temperature out. Okay. So I just go really fast. Here's the thing about, you know, like Dan and some other chefs, they always go into the science of things, and I go, yeah, fast forward, because who cares about the science? <laughs> you invited the right person over. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, great. So we're going to put this back on the heat. Also, knife skills, who cares? Cut the damn thing, <laughs> all right? Just cut it. Sorry. We are on the same page, and yet, you and I. You know, yeah, I keep the telling stuff we my care husband, about. if you develop knife skills, could you imagine the power couple? Could you imagine how we would be together? We would just... <laughs> Take over the entire world if you had knife skills. You totally would. We're just cooking and whisking, and we want this to get really thick. I'm actually going to do this for about eight minutes. Um, right. One of the reasons that's a sciencey reason, I don't know if you want to hear it or not. I do kind of want to hear it. Is that you, um, you actually need to cook the egg yolk to a high enough temperature that it doesn't then liquefy the Oh, are you saying mixture. something? I'm sorry, Did you, were, you, were you speaking? I'm not, yeah. even, I'm, not even going to, <laughs> I'm not even going to. Ah, uh, that was funny. I just meant that as a little joke. <laughs> I see little lumps in there, just saying, Dan. They're gonna come, I mean, they're gonna come right they're up. They're gonna come right up? Yeah, okay, don't worry about that. All right, look, he got Dad, really nervous and upset and his face just went into a big scowl. <laughs> Oh, so it's really thick. It's like mashed potatoes. Yes, we want this to be super thick. Good. And there's sugar in there. Of course there's sugar. It's all sugar, right? Sugar and starch. pretty delicious as it is. I mean, that's just really good to eat right now. No. Well, it's a little hot good. at the moment. Just a little vanilla or something. Beautiful. So this is super thick and gorgeous. It, it is. It's really thick. It's thicker than I expected that to be. Yeah, so the, the thicker it is, in my mind, the, the better. Um, because then you can add more whipped cream to it and, and, it, and it lightens up really, really nicely. But we have a few final ingredients. So we've got butter. Butter. Right. We have to it's get not in that there. much butter. I like that. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of vanilla extract, which is no small amount. No, that's a lot of vanilla extract. But we, we really want that vanilla flavor. Yes, like if, we do. if you had a vanilla bean, you could totally scrape it in there too. Like more vanilla is going to be nice in this. Look at that. I'm not fine nary with it. a lump, darling. No lump. I didn't even strain it. <laughs> so this needs to chill fully, which can take. You know, at least four hours overnight is awesome. Mm. No, it's not so good by itself. You do need to just taste of that. It needs to set up a little bit. Of it needs to set up. Yeah. So I'm just going to spray this parchment real Are quick. Are you going to cover it for something? Is that what you're going to yeah. cover that so it doesn't develop a film or something? The skin, yes. Well, here's what you would do if you were Julia Child. You would just pour a little cream on top of that. And, it, and that protects it. I promise you. No, that makes a lot of sense. And it cools down. I love that. I know, right? All right, so we're gonna let this cool a little bit at room temp and then we'll pop it in the fridge so it doesn't, you know, okay. warm, up, warm up your entire right, fridge. Right, exactly. Are you ready to make the easiest All cookie ready, dough darling. in the yes, entire yes, world? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is, we're gonna have little discs of this that sit on top and then melts and encase the yes. beautiful puff in the okay. oven. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with um, brown, light brown sugar. All right. Which you were shocked that I... I'm shocked. I can't even believe we're sitting in the same... Because you never see light brown sugar in French pastry... Um, recipes. Well, you rarely. Know, rarely. Rarely. It's true. It's true. It adds just a little bit of complexity. Okay. Too, right? A little bit of color, a little complexity in there. So we're just going to mix, you know, this isn't a creaming step necessarily, but we just want to combine okay. the butter right. and the sugar until it's right. nice and combined. And here's why you don't need a stand mixer because you don't need to cream that, right? Right. We're not trying to incorporate a bunch of air. It's um, I'm so sad it's a nice you don't because I have several here. I have several stand mixers here. I'm oh, just what? I didn't know that's why you wanted to No, you know, and yeah. I just got another, I just got the seven quart thing where you actually have to lift it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I actually Not just here. realized what? that we're going to need like three stand mixers for the final <laughs> step of this recipe. I like wasn't uh, thinking about it. Let's get uh, Let's get them out. You, you know? just added flour and what was that? Salt? Yeah, a little bit of salt. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So is that like just, that's now dough. It's just dough. We just come together with dough. And then the other thing is, you know what I actually did? 
was. This is a boring story. Are you ready? Yeah, you know when, I, I love, you know when you I use love like a good boring chocolate story. Chocolate chips and something. Yeah. And you know, if you if you let them, if you if it sets up, it's delicious. The ice cream is delicious. But then a day later, you're literally like losing fillings because it's, it's literally so hard. so hard. Yep. So I got finally got the lowdown about what you do to the chocolate before you put it in. You have to, you have to, you have to melt it down with some like with a smidgen of some kind of fat. Like, like usually, what's good is. Um, Coconut, coconut oil. Coconut oil, yeah. Yes. A yes. little, like the merest yes. bit, because if you do more than that, you taste it and it's gross and you just want yeah. to throw the whole batch of ice cream away. Tiny bit, and then you, um, oh my God, are you getting this? Look at this, this is technique, darling. This is major technique. I'm like kind of blown away, because right now, you're, you're like speaking my language so hard right now, so like. Let's go in the other room for a second <laughs> together, can we please? Because I feel like. Yeah, like we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> like so, oh, look, he's blushing. So he's blushing I'm, just a little bit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What? That's just my makeup. I put too much blush on. Um, <laughs> okay. I um, I'm working on a, a pilot for a, a new show. Yeah. That's like me geeking out. It's very sciencey, so you'll hate it. But um, the first episode is all about ice cream, and I go to ice cream college, and which is at Penn State, and we, we spend like so much time there playing with all of their cool machines. But we have a whole section on magic shell. Which is basically what you're talking about, which is like is chocolate. Like dipping dots or something? What's you, a magic shell? You know, like you, you pour the chocolate on and it sets into a oh, shell and you can crack God. through it. That's kind of what you're making and putting in your ice cream. Yeah. And we do a whole segment on just how to make that at home. And it's like coconut oil and chocolate. Um, then, wow. Yeah. I want to see that episode. Yes. And yeah. look what he's doing. He's rolling out this cookie pastry, this cookie dough. Yes. So we're between just... Two, two, between two parchments. That's what, what about that for our show? Between two parchments? <laughs> between t- <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great cooking series. Between two parchments. And like, Sorry. does it... Is where's it, my agent? Is it have and a... where's a, my lawyer? A little bit lawyer? of like... That's between, my idea. A little bit of between two ferns to yeah. it? Oh, really? Like... Really? Really, Dan? Uh, you got the, you mean you got the joke? Okay, so. I'm here now. All right, can I um, roll this? Oh, yeah. I think I just did it too much. No, no, you roll it, you roll it. How thin do but you But so want can it? we like, are we gonna be like, be mean to celebrities on it? Like what's the? That's, that's the premise. That's while the premise? While they cook, while they cook <laughs> things. <laughs> we, we have them over to cook for us, and then we just <laughs> are brutal. Look what I did to it already. Look what I did. You made, I made a, nice a big little... crease. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. It is? Well, not really, but. I know, I'm I don't, sorry. I don't want you to feel bad. Oh no! No, no. So it actually is fine, Isaac, because this is a really forgiving. Okay. A really forgiving dough, and all we're trying to do is get it down to. See, he's just so nice. He's such a nice guy. This one's a little bit wonky, but it's okay. We're just trying to get it down to nice, yes. thin texture here. Nice thin, nice thin layer. Look how nice that looks. Okay, so it doesn't look that nice, but that's fine. But that's okay. So it's going to be good for our purposes. And you're going to cut the rounds now. Yes, yeah, so what we're going to do, oh, we have a two-inch cutter, Okay. Um, and we're just going to go around and cut right. them like this. Why are you cutting them now, darling? Are you going to, are you going to chill this dough? We're going to freeze. Uh, oh, okay, I see. And that's a really key step. First of all, right. this is really soft, yes. hard to put on top. Got it. It also gives it a little okay. bit of time in the oven before it starts right. to melt. Everything mm-hmm. starts to puff around got it. it. Got it, got it, got it. So roll your dough. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You just want to get... Um, all your nice rounds out of this. Good. Okay, so you put the parchment back? We're gonna put the parchment back. We're gonna pop this onto our baking sheet. Okay. Just Boom. like that. And, put and it this in the goes in the freezer. So now it is time for the third component, which is our beautiful puff pastries. Right. This is based on a pat shoe So we're gonna make a pat shoe and then um, pipe it. Okay. Right? right, so it's a good fun part of it. So what we're first gonna start with prepping our um, pan. Our pan here that we're gonna pipe onto. So I'm gonna use a little bit of spray. I right. wanna do this over this thing so I don't Go get, ahead. get you all. But here's the thing, darling. Yep. No parchment and spray, just spray. Oh, so, oh no, is it spray and then parchment and then spray? <laughs> it's not even that. What right. is it? So it's it's parchment and then what right. we're gonna do is. It is parchment. No, no, it's not parchment. No, no, no you okay. got parchment in my head because right. of our TV show concept. Right. No, so this Between is. two parchments. We're doing, um, just get a little bit of flour in here. We're doing flour on top of our spray. Right. Love it. And just doing a little bit, so it's like and then I'm gonna knock out, yeah. knock out all the rest, got it. The trick is to have it separate really nicely when they're baked, but not have too much, that the, doesn't, the batter doesn't stick to it when we're piping. Does that make sense? Yes. We're going to start our shoe paste now. Mm-hmm. So in our saucepan, we've got water. All right. We've got butter. It's really easy. Milk. This is so easy. You just put it all in a saucepan and just cook it down. Sugar right? and salt. Yes. 
So exactly. So we're going to bring this water, butter, sugar, salt, and milk and milk and milk. Yep. And milk. Okay. So we're going to bring this up over here and then and we get a whisk. So we need our eggs, right? So we've right. got two whole eggs right. and one egg white. Shoe base is really cool because it's, um, I'm going to geek out a little bit, but because it's like, it's not a batter and it's not a dough. Like it lives somewhere in between where it's right. pipeable, yes. but then, uh, but it doesn't, you know, flatten out. So and you I get have to tell good you, structure with it. It's a weird it. thing about pat, shoe pat because it's like, um, it's basically cardboard. Like it never tastes good except for the stuff you put in it or around it. Like if there's gougere and has a lot of cheese. Cheese, yeah. You know, if it's like, if it's, if it's profiterol, has a lot of ice cream and chocolate sauce, but otherwise it's like literally cardboard. Like it's never, it's not a delicious thing. It just is, it's delicious by contrast to other things. I mean it. Like so if I, there was ever one thing in the world that is that is true about it, it is, it is shoe pastry. <laughs> I mean it. So I like, I, I, I partly agree with you because I, like I love like popovers and oh I love Dutch pop babies. oh you're and right and so those are popovers. close to it close they're close but they just have a little bit more egg to it yes exactly so more I would egg. I would agree that it's a little lacking if you don't add a lot to it but you have to add but to I it. love that flour eggy yes combo. I do and I love this kind of cardboardy chewy thing against yes. ice cream well everything against ice cream darling or against you know pastry cream yep. or against the crack land that's gonna add crack land's gonna make this right. It, it adds a whole nother layer of texture. A whole nother. Right? Instead of just. Je ne sais quoi. Yes, like exactly. creamy and whatever. Yes. Creamy and crunchy and crispy and a lot of things. A lot of nice things. Dan. Dan, Dan. You know what I need you to do? I need your help on this, I, I realize. Do. Is, me, so we want to mark off where we're going to go with this. So we're going to do 24. So I'm thinking, uh, you want to do four across and six this way? Okay. Just giving us a, right. a land, yes. like just a landing four zone that we're going to go one, into. Two. You added this flour to the butter. Yes, exactly. And now it's getting kind of clumpy. Wait, so that's going to make 24 pastries, that little bitty and this is the egg? This is what's so amazing about pate choux is you're trapping like a ton of water in it. Right. So then when you put it in the oven, that's why it puffs so nice. Okay, I'm bored. I'm kidding. Hey, listen. It's like I know I'm doing a good science job when, like, <laughs> when, you, when you tune out. And you're cooling it down. <laughs> Just a little bit because right. I'm going to add those okay. eggs to it. Because you, you actually tempt it? Yes, it tempted out at 175. Okay. Yep. By the way, that's the other thing about Julia and all those chefs, Christy, etc., Becky. Yep. They go, oh, we're looking for 275. Bingo, 275. I'm like, how did that happen, girls? <laughs> Come on. Like, tell me what really happened that day. Because when I tempt shit and they give me the exact time and I calibrate and I do it, and it's always a little bit under or over, it has to be done or like, you know, whatever, rested. And they, yep. it comes right out of the oven and it's exactly, well, we're looking for, and they go exactly on the nose. It's like, really, Bridget? Really? Was it exactly on the nose? What, Was we're, it? We're just, we're just good over there. I guess that's what it is. Oh, look, you're, so you're doing this little by little. Yeah, because I, I want to get them to like more similar textures. Like I want this to get a little bit right. soupier so got that, it, got so it, that, got that it. will mix in. And this is not a, a tempering thing so much as it is a, a mixture thing. This is an, yeah, just incorporating. Okay. You need a spatula? Oh, you have one. Is this big enough? I think that's fine. I think we do better. You want to do bigger? Yes, I do. So, wow. Oh, I see. So, of course, you pipe those and little tiny things, and then they puff into that size. Yes, they puff you. Okay. Yeah. I was like, what is he, crazy? All right. So, we're going to pipe about one and a half inch guys here. Okay. <gasps> Look at your cute little finish technique. You like that? I'm going to do like a couple, and then I'm going to pass it to you. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, darling, yes, okay? And do you smooth down the tops with a spoon or something? Or no, no you know, a our, little water? Our little no. crack is gonna smush of that right course, down. Of course, duh! Wait a minute, now I know I'm supposed to do here. See, the thing is I don't have good technique, but it will be fine, all right? No, there. they're gonna be great. And enjoying through the <gasps> oh, entire no. thing. Sorry, you're gonna have to deal with that, darling. That's your, yeah, that's, yeah. you know. Okay, well, this is taking me forever and it's not coming out very good, but you know, if I had a minute to figure this out, and I'm I wasn't rushing you. under I'm the pressure, pressure this is, I know. of Dan Souza breathing down your neck while you're piping. Oh, okay, I seriously. I don't know if I'm going to make 24 of these, darling. Yeah, I think you I are. You got this. it. Really? Yeah. No, you get the last two, would you please? Okay. Because yep. it's not going to happen. <gasps> oh. oh. Well, I, that was not helpful. I know, but okay, even with that, I think we're going to. I think we're going to make it. And guess what? If we have 23 of them, it's fine. You know. <sighs> You know what? I'm gonna rescue this guy. Go for it. 
Right. I would. That's what right? I would do. Okay, yes. Why not? Darling? Why not? Should we put them in the oven now? No. no. Oh, oh, the cracklin. Right, exactly. Our... Should I get that out of the freezer? Yes. Final step before they go into bake. We use our cute little offset here and free our cookie tops. And that just goes right on top. Cookie tops. It's Are there cookie top. bottoms, perhaps? <laughs> I'm just wondering, but... Should we put these funny ones on here? Go on, darling. Funny. We'll see what they look like. It might be a we're, gorgeous we're taste testing, sensation. We're testing. We're testing. Okay, great. Right. So we're going to go. These go in for 15. Yes. 400 degree oven, middle rack. Middle rack. Okay. So do, we got to turn that down. Turn it down. To 350 okay. without opening the door. Okay. Temperature. 350 and we're going to go another 7 to 10 minutes. And this is based on the color. So we want beautiful browning, not over browned. So you pull them out at this point and you slip them. A yes. See, look, yours are all so good and mine are not so good. They all look great. No, they don't. I know what you're talking about. So we're just going to uh, use our paring knife here and go in and make a little slit. Cut, right. in, cut inside a little bit there. Um, okay. And that's going to let it release out. the steam and also make a little spot for us to put our exactly. cream in. And then these are going to go back in the oven. Um, right. In the, in off, the uh, oven off oven. With a wooden spoon in the door just to let it, okay. let it vent yes. out. And we're going to let them dry fully. We can knock off any little bottom parts like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to let them dry fully. And that just means we can put more pastry cream right. in. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And how long does the drying process take? Like 45 minutes? Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's that pop these back in. in. There's that. And then this gets propped open with a wooden spoon. I do love having to use a wooden spoon. I, I kind of love it too. It's, it's I a, love it. It's a little old school, but it's still, I love still it. effective. Are you ready? Yeah. So we're nearing the finish line. We're not quite there yet. But... I'm excited. All right. So we're, excited. we're deep in, in step three here. So uh, we're going to whip some cream. This is a heavy cream. Yep. A cup of cold heavy cream. And no powdered sugar, just heavy cream. Just heavy cream. Okay. We've got lots of flavor in there. Right. Right? It's going to get combined with that. Um, and then you want to use the largest whisk that someone will give you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the largest whisk in the entire kitchen. Darling. Yeah, it's awesome. It's big, right? A cold bowl would have even worked, right? Yeah. If we had Keep chilled it, the bowl. Everything cold. Because yeah, all exactly. the structure is from fat, fat, right? Fat globules like sticking together. Good night. We're going to go to sleep right now because he's talking. I can't perfect. stop myself. Though. <laughs> like, I know you don't want to hear it, but oh, I'm wow. like, maybe this time he'll be interested. That's a lot of that. That's a lot of, am I exhausted just watching you? Do you work out? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, but do just doing weights? this. Oh, I do. This I do, yeah. Do you do cardio? Yeah. Why do you say it like that? I don't know, because you're so thin for a chef. <laughs> I do. I chefs like... are not usually the thinnest people, right? I like to, I like to swim. Swimming is the best. Cool. I, oh, it's the greatest. Is that what you do? That's what I like for uh, aerobic, yeah. Okay. Like, what time, roughly, and where? You just want to like... You going to come swim with me? Ah! I just want to come see you in a Speedo is what I really want to do. You think I wear a Speedo? <laughs> oh, the, don't you? At the gym? No, I'm not trying oh, to go fast. Oh, I am. I was a Speedo, like, doing laps. I mean, I did miles, etc. I was on a swim team. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, darling. darling. I just do it for exercise. Oh, okay. All right. Whatever. Fine. Now, look how nice that is. See how those have really... That looks pretty good. ...formed... What? Peaks? What sort of peaks are those? Those are not exactly stiff peaks. Well, there's not really such a thing as stiff peaks in cream. So the first step is I'm going to whisk this to kind of, you know, oh, lighten, of it, lighten it up a little Got bit. It. Okay. Because it's cold and it's... Exactly, yeah. Hostile. It's hostile to... It's hostile to the whipped cream right now. Right. It's just nice and You know, smooth. I'm so excited because when I saw the, the pastry cream, I thought, you know what? It's not the right color. And of course, it's going to be the right color once it you It starts out that. this like exactly. tan mm -hmm. sort of. Right. Yep, yes. Exactly. All right, so this first, this first portion I put in there is really about right. lightening this up so a little bit. So you didn't bit. have to worry about being gentle. You just kind of mixed it in, right? Yeah, get this closer in texture to that. Right, and so that was half of that. That was half of your whipped cream. Yeah, maybe, okay. maybe a third, a half. Okay, a third, a third, a third. And then this half. stuff will be more gentle with. Right. So you're going to fold. Folding is like... It's the best, isn't it? Oh, no, I hate folding. What? It makes me so nervous. Why? Because I'm always afraid I'm going to deflate, like, the egg whites and the yolks and the blah, blah. You know, if when you're making a souffle. Yep. Or, like, like, that really you can't deflate. Or when you're making a cake batter that you want to rise. I'm always so afraid I'm going to, like, oh, tender, tender little egg whites. Like, please, please, <laughs> please. You know, that's what folding is. It's like begging, begging the egg whites not to deflate, right? It's a beg. It's a beg, darling. It's a beg. But I think it's also, you have this good visual of like, you know, when you see just streaks of it, you're in really good shape, especially right. with most batters yes, and stuff I like that. Yes, I know, I know. And it's just meditative. You just do that yes, same motion over and over. You just keep doing it again and again, through the middle and up the side, yep. right? I like to do it like and that. And let you, let you go nice. all the way around. 
I like going all around. Yes, I like a clean thing. bowl right. kind of on the side. Go. But you Check do need to go through a little bit, darling. I mean, just. Yeah, but that happens as I go through. Do you see? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I turn I the bowl see. to where I go. Okay, this looks gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Like, so gorgeous. You want to taste mm. it like this? I do, yeah. I'm just going to use my finger on this. No. Yeah, I'll why not? Spoon. Okay. I'll do it from the edge. I won't do it from the side. Take from wherever you want. No. Mm. Mm. Well, that is good. Good stuff. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. All right. So we're just going to fill this guy up. So we're just going to go in that nice little hole we made. Slip there. And you can kind of feel how heavy yes. they Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Now that, darling, that is technique. Yeah, you like this technique? I feel like Lon would probably do it better, but... Of course she would. I'm just saying, but... Okay, so we got to come in right there. Let's see. Get that... Yeah, you can feel Decent, that. heavy feel to it. Mm, yes. All right, now can I do one? Of course. Just saying, because wait, now I have to get it in the right configuration. It's that, right? Yep. Show me again. I'm just kidding. Okay, I got it. And then here's the, ah, ooh, this is a photo op. Yeah, Comes out a little candy. bit and you're finished, right? Yeah. Does it feel nice and feel heavy? Feel that. What yeah. do you think? Is it heavy enough? I think it's good. Maybe a little I bit like more. Maybe put a little oh, no, now I got it on the outside. It's okay. Yeah, if it's not taken See, anymore, it's not right, taken. That's it. That's fine. It's Boom. Good. Now these are littler, so. I feel like that's about that much because it's starting to ooze out, right? Look. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, I'm getting really excited. Ones. Me too. Uh-oh, that's not big enough. That's mm -hmm. You do that one. Give me the hard one. Wait, no, Wait, it looks like you're in. Is it okay? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. What's happening? Nothing. I think it's actually working. Yeah, once you kind of get the hang of it, it's pretty satisfying. It's you know? very satisfying. It's very satisfying. True. I feel like I just want all of my food to come out of pastry bags now. For a minute, and then I'll get really good at it, you know? <laughs> Just all of it. What about that show, Pastry Bag Cooking with Dan and Isaac? I like that concept, too. I, that could be, actually, that could be a part of Between Two Parchments. It's like a segment. Pastry bag. It's, it's a segment. segment, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we definitely need to do a, a variety cooking show. We do. Like the Carol Burnett show, except um, cooking. He doesn't even know who Carol Burnett yes, is. Yes, I probably. do. Do you? Yes, all right. God. Wait, let's eat this. This is yeah. what I want to do, is eat this. Shall we? Let's do it. All right. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good, right? That mm. is delicious. It's so delicious. It's so just plain, right? It was, and it's, sweet. And it's vanilla. Creamy and vanilla. Right? That's like uh -huh. that really mm. clean profile, right. which is so nice. And you get the cookie mm. crunch, mm. that nice puff, and then it's just loaded, like it's heavy with all the, the light and pastry cream. It's so good. By the way, I'm having more than one of these. You have to fill all those damn pastry puffs because, yeah, you know, for the, by the magic of TV, we have these six, basically. But we have masses of pate au chou there that's ready for yes, filling. We and keep... we have masses of filling. Someone is going to fill those damn pastry <laughs> puffs, that's right? And you can do this. This is okay. You, <laughs> you have this at the table. So if you and end up with a bite that it, doesn't have enough. Exactly. You just... you, when you serve it to your guests, you can have a pastry bag. Fill me up, baby. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Oh! Mm. 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 That is literally the best thing in the entire world, right? I'm so with you on that. I, I literally love what you. We're doing I love you. No, but I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> he got nervous there for a second. It was going to be like a high five I and know, then we were arm like, wrestling. I love you and I'm yeah. touching you. Yeah, exactly. How many Weight Walkers points in one of these mothers, right? There's none. Because <laughs> that's breakfast. What is it, 20 points? I'm sorry, but. You got eggs. All the major. Which are, which are great. You got flour. Yes. People are always trying to eat more flour. Well, well, I mean it. I adore you. That was the most fun I've had in months. Yes, I had a blast too. Thank you so much for having me. You swear? Yes, absolutely. I've been looking forward to this too. Okay. Yeah. Um, would you swipe left or right now that you've met me? Would you like... What's the good one? Right. Okay. 100%. All right. And can we have a text relationship for the rest yes, of our lives? Absolutely. I mean it. Please. Thanks for everything. Bye. 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 All right. Bye. I just want to hug him. That's all. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank Namaste. you. I'll Namaste. Do, I'll do the dishes. Namaste.